So in our computers, uh, the data is actually in a logical format. So whatever data, for example, picture, video, audio, whatever data is, but that data is in logical format. And these radio frequency signal actually give that data a physical representation. So physical temp representation means we convert or we change that data into some signals and then these are the signals which travel from one point or from one computer to another. So uh, if you take the OSI model, so from the perspective of OSI model, this is the job of the physical layer, our layer one on OSI model, to convert though that logical data or those logical bits into the signal. So specifically, if we see here, so this you can see here on the physical layer. So data up to this point, we have these only, we have this zero and one, so because these are digital computers, digital machines. So we have we all uh, every everything we can have zeros and ones but these all up to this point whatever is that is in the lo logical format and from this point and onward we convert them into a physical representation and that is represented by these waves or signals so at the at the moment you can see this thing here now uh, uh, basic characteristics of the signal. So this is a signal, this is a sine wave, and we can have cosine wave. And one interesting point to note here is that whatever complex signal we have, that signal is actually composed of these sines and cosine waves. By using some Fourier transform, we can convert. So this is actually complicated. But the thing is that like we have we any word of English, so we can have any word in English, but that word must be um, must, must be made from these 26 letters. So these 26 letters will remain same, exactly in the same way, whatever complex signal we have, this is audio, video, or, or, or any, any kind of signal, that signal is, can actually decompose, uh, can be decomposed uh, into sine and cosine waves. So this is a basic signal. We are going to discuss the characteristics of the signals. Just for fun, let's see that how to represent that signal mathematically. So in a simple sense, the mathematical representation of this signal is this. Here, just, uh, just to make things not very complicated, this, this is the function which is uh, this g of t, this is the function of sine. And here this a, this is the amplitude. So this is the amplitude, this you see, this is actually strength. So amplitude is the strength of the signal in terms of voltage or current. So you see here, this is the, so here, this is, this is the strength. This is changing with respect to time. And yes, on this y-axis, so this is, this is x-axis and this is our y-axis. On this y-axis, we have shown the amplitude of this um, sine wave or a signal, sine signal. And here, the a, a actually represents the amplitude of the signal. And then we also have a term that is uh, is frequency. That's really important one. We will be using the term frequency again and again in wireless communications. So frequency is actually the number of cycles per second. So first of all, what is cycle? Cycle means the signal, where the signal starts. For example, if I take on this point, signal is starting this point, and then this goes to positive peak, then this comes to negative peak, and then at this point comes again and it restarts the same pattern again. See, from here to here, we have completed one pattern or one cycle. And from this point and onward, we are starting the next period, or next, the exactly same pattern. So this is, this is known as one complete cycle, okay? So frequency is the number of cycles in one second. So in one second, how many cycles are being generated or are being radiated? So that is the frequency. So we can have uh, one kilohertz, one, one megahertz, one gigahertz. So 1000 hertz means 1000 cycles. So like this, if we say, this should be one, two, three, four, five, six, up 
1000 cycles in one second so there's one one kilohertz in this way we can have one megahertz we can have one gigahertz so this is the frequency and li like in our um, electric current or the electric supply we have at our homes that has i think 50 to 55 hertz uh, frequency the electric current has 50 to 55 hertz which we are using at our homes using wires and then we have the period so period is the time taken by one complete cycle so here you can see the same idea so for one complete cycle means from this point to this point how much time has been taken by this wave or this signal that is known as period and uh, the final point is the phase or the specifically phase difference so the phase difference is actually the phase shift which represents the shift of the signal relative to each other so relative to each other means we should have two signals and we will see the difference in between them so it's better to take an example for example here if we see mm, yes if we see here just here yeah so if you look at this point we have two signals so one is in black color i hope you can see black and second one is in red color now there is a difference you can see here this difference the shift of the signal this shift on this x-axis you can see this is is starting first this black signal is starting first but the red signal is starting a bit later so this shift is actually known as the phase difference and this phase difference is measured in degrees so we measure in terms of degrees so at this point this can be 90 degree because this is started this signal is started a bit later so in terms of degrees that is 90 degrees so this is how we actually measure the phase difference but we are not going to give more um, examples for that but points to remember are that we have the amplitude frequency phase and the period of the signal these are the basic characteristics of the signal or of a sine wave and by using these characteristics actually we transmit we our data it means we encode encode that sine wave in a such such a way that our information is somewhere hidden in these basic characteristics information may be hidden in the amplitude maybe in frequency or in the in maybe in phase so we use different kind of modulations amplitude frequency modulation which is known as am fm rpm so we will discuss these all things maybe in some other videos but these are the basic uh, characteristics of the signal which we will be uh, using and uh, of course in terms of frequency frequency means number of cycles per second so we can create 10 cycles in one second we can create 1000 cycles per second we can create even millions of cycle, cycles per second so in terms of frequency these frequencies are divided into different categories so we, we and those different categories has been allocated to different applications like to wi-fi to to mobile communication to satellite so in our next video we will discuss that what are the frequency um, categories which have been allocated to different kind of applications so I hope to see you in our next video that is also related with the wireless communications. And uh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see you in our next video.